This is a demonstration of exercise 329 Compute Cash Conversion Cycle for competing firms. Halliburton and Schlumberger compete in the oil field services sector, and we are given selected financial information for both companies for 2018. And then the problem asks us to compute the following measures for both companies. So we're going to compute ratios for each company so that we can compare the two companies and they are competitors. So the first ratio that we're going to compute is day sales outstanding. Before we can compute that though, we need to compute accounts receivable turnover. So accounts receivable turnover is equal to total revenue divided by average accounts receivable. And that gives us an accounts receivable turnover of 4.67. But an easier way to understand that is to convert that into day sales outstanding by taking 365 and dividing that by the accounts receivable turnover. And we see that we get 78.1 days. So what does that mean? That means that Halliburton, it takes them about, on average, 78.1 days to collect their accounts receivable. The next ratio they ask us to compute is day's inventory outstanding. But again, we need to first compute inventory turnover. So for inventory turnover, we're going to take cost of sales and services, and we're going to divide that by average inventory. And that gives us 7.75. That is the number of times that our inventory turns over during the year. But an easier way to understand that is, again, to take 365 and divide that by the inventory turnover to get the day's inventory outstanding. So that is 47.1. And that means that it takes... Halliburton on average 47.1 days to sell their inventory. The next ratio that we're going to compute is days payable outstanding. But again, before we can compute that, we need to compute accounts payable turnover. So in the numerator for accounts payable turnover, again, is cost of sales and services. And in the denominator is average accounts payable. And that gives us the number of times that our accounts payable have turned over. An easier way to understand that is to take 365 and divide it by the accounts payable turnover to get days payables outstanding. So that is the number of days that it takes Halliburton, 48.4, to pay their vendors. That is the length of time on average that their accounts payable are outstanding. And then the last ratio that we are going to compute or will com show for Halliburton is the cash conversion cycle. So the cash conversion cycle is equal to the day sales outstanding plus the day's inventory outstanding minus the day's payable outstanding. Okay, now for Halliburton, that's 76.8 days. So what does that mean? That is the length of time that it takes Halliburton to purchase its inventory, sell its inventory, collect its accounts receivable, and pay its vendors. So that is the length of time it takes to do all of those activities. Now, you will need to go through the same process and compute the same ratios for Schlumberger. I'm going to let you do that part. Now, the B part states which company better manages its accounts receivable. Okay, so once you have the Schlumberger day sales outstanding, you're going to compare that to Halliburton's day sales outstanding, and we want to pick the company that has the lowest one. Okay, because the quicker that you collect your accounts receivable, the sooner you are able to pay your vendors and purchase more inventory. So again, we want that to be the lowest number of days. The C portion states which company uses inventory more effectively. 
So for that, we're going to look at the day's inventory outstanding. So after you compute Schlumberger, again, we want to pick the company that has the lowest number of days inventory outstanding because that means they're turning their inventory over quicker, selling it faster, which helps them to get the cash faster, buy more inventory, and the process is faster. And then the D portion states which company better manages its accounts payable. Okay, that is going to be the days payable outstanding. Now that's a little different. That ratio is the length of time that we can take before we pay our vendors. Now when we can take longer to pay our vendors, that's a negative. So that actually helps us because we can keep our cash longer and invest it ourselves. So for that ratio, you want the company that has the longest days payable outstanding. And this is the conclusion of the demonstration for exercise 329.